Hello everyone, I'm Stefan from How Not To Game. Uh, if you saw our last video, which was on Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, I am, of course, <laughs> Stefan. Liam isn't here today, so I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to play some indie games. Well, one indie game. I'm going to play, I made a game with zombies in it. You can get this in the Xbox Live Marketplace for, I don't know, it's not like 60p. It's really cheap. Anyway, it's a really fun game, and um, enjoy. So basically you use the left, the, the left stick to move and the right stick to shoot. It's a very classic style shooting game. And there's lots of different weapons and power-ups you can get. Once again, it's a very cheap game. Uh, I'd say it's worth getting. Uh, whenever I'm, when I get bored next time, I'll go and play this game because you know, it's a zombie game. It's classic. Well, classic style. The soundtrack's quite funny. It is also um, a local multiplayer. You can play with up to four other people. Of course, being in the game, there is no online capability. But uh, you and your friends can just fight zombies together in this little shooter. Remember, this is like from a dollar to pounds. I'm, I'm guessing it's a dollar, considering what it's singing. But this, I did get this game like when I first got my Xbox, which was quite a few years ago. So it might be it might be a lot cheaper now, or it might even be free. I don't know if indie games go from costing to free, but it might be. It doesn't just stay like this as well. It does change into different stages. It'll go from like this to a kitchen. I'm guessing it's got like a checkered floor. And then you go to space for a bit, and you go into a dark room with the uh, game creator's logo on the ground. Hopefully I'll be able to survive long enough to show you. Like I said, I have played this game quite a lot, so... <laughs> and I've just died. But there, you get three lives, unless you can find, like, um... I think there are extra lives around on the ground every now and then. But from what I remember, they are quite rare, so if you see one, grab it. Oh, and there aren't just zombies, there are also slimes, snakes, and I think at some point there are bats. They are zombie bats, though. The game is definitely worth buying, though, for the sheer fact that it's not good to play when you're bored. If you don't like zombie games or this sort of style, it's fair enough. It can be kind of annoying trying to figure out how to play it because you always try and press all the triggers or buttons if that's the sort of game you're used to. But it's a very classic arcade style. The music does tend to turn off at this point, which. you know. Um, if you want to see more of um, uh, games like this when I play them, then please, like like, give a like, post in the comments if you know any good indie games I should get and play. I'm always open to suggestions. The next video you should see on our channel should be the next part of Assassin's Creed. But, uh, I can't make any promises. No. We both have school and tests at the moment. We try and give videos out as much as possible. At least I will try and get these sort of videos out if Liam can't make it. So suggestions are always appreciated. If there are any other, also not just indie games, if there are any games you think me and Liam should play, for our channel, um, we're also open suggestions on that. I do own quite a lot of games. Um, if you want to add me on Xbox, my game is Haggy Space Nibbler, and Liam is Fuse Remix. You can find him through my friends list if you want to add either of us. You know, send game suggestions and see what games we own. Um, 
I will play this until I have died, of course, because, well, you know, it's good to see how far I can get and show you the other stages. Um, I've only got, I've only ever got past this point, and if there's one after it, I usually die, like, the next round. I will also be showing arcade games that are up to offer, and I will also be doing, like, uh, I'll be doing, like, little previews of games. Like, if a new game comes out, I will play a preview of it, and if a few people like it enough, then we'll do a playthrough. Um, I apologise if this video is a bit boring, I'm not really sure what to say at some points. But, um, I will try and improve quality of, we will eventually improve the quality of the videos, I can understand that through my camcorder it's probably not the greatest quality. Of course here is the studio that made this game. K, um, sorry. A, SKA Studios. This is where I usually die because the zombies are not stronger. I don't know the stage after this. And if anyone has actually got past it, then I um, will give you my applause. Also feel free to post your high scores in the comments, and maybe at some point me and Liam will both play this, and we'll see if we can beat it. Uh, this depends on how much you like this video. If you want to see more of it, like, comment, you know. If I'm, if, you, if I'm lucky enough, I'll make it and I can show you the bats. Uh, if not, then... I guess you have to get the game and find it and do it yourself. Because I'm not very good. That's what the channel's called, how not to game, of course. <laughs> I'm not actually sure how many lives I have. That's a uh, downside to this game. It doesn't really give you much of a... HUD doesn't tell you like how much life you have or I think it's when you says dead one, I think that's like you've lost one life. Maybe it was a dead two, you've lost two lives and then I don't know. Um, I have played this game recently, so that's yeah, probably why my skill I'm not actually doing too badly at it. When I first played it I didn't even get to the space stage, I think I just made it to the kitchen. And I have died. Um, so, I'd like to say thank you all for watching. I was Stefan, and we and this was um, How Not to Game. And we'll see you next episode, possibly with Assassin's Creed.